Good evening, everyone. You can call it a poll tax. A tax on strip clubs that would help the victims of sex trafficking. News Channel 5's Junkwell Newland joins us outside the Capitol. Junkwell, who's picking up the tab for this if it gets passed? Yeah, good evening, Carrie. The legislation proposed by Representative Darren Jernigan will charge every person who walks into a strip club in Tennessee with a $2 fee. Now, while it might not seem like much, the hope is, is that it sends a message. Strip clubs and sex trafficking. The two don't typically go together in a good way, but Representative Darren Jernigan wants to change that. Frankly, I thought I would probably get laughed at for doing something like this, but my motives were pure and my heart was in the right place. After an outreach called Rest Stop Ministries visited Jernigan's church, he was compelled to help their cause, which funds beds and rehabilitation centers for victims of sex trafficking. His proposal passed a law that will likely tax $2 for each strip club visitor. The business doesn't necessarily have to tax him by $2. They're just going to be responsible for sending the $2 to the state. There are 26 strip clubs throughout Tennessee. The majority are in Memphis. Jernigan says this is not meant to hurt adult businesses, but too many times sex trafficking victims end up there. If they don't get the bed to learn those skills I was talking about, their alternative, well, they can take their clothes off and dance. That's about the only thing they can do. We're trying to give some options for these young ladies to learn something else other than going to a strip club. The money from this tax will go to the state's general fund before being transferred to the Office of Criminal Justice Programs to be distributed to rehabilitation centers. It's not going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. It's just not. But it's a small step to recognize that this is an issue. It puts it on the radar screen. Now, Jernigan says this legislation does have bipartisan support. Next, it will go before the Finance Committee for discussion. Now, Jernigan, Jernigan admits he has not spoken with many business owners at strip clubs, but he says he's more than willing to open a dialogue if they'd like to discuss alternative options. Outside the Capitol, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5.